first person to say I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. You you thought, oh man, Dre was cool. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And you like, oh damn, that's cool. But that's he got that from he was shouting out an ancestor at that point. You you don't realize that Charles Drew and and, 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 and Percy uh 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 uh, uh what was his name? Damn, Ju- Percy Julian Julian uh Percy Julian and all these dudes invented tons of things. And you you like you just sitting in school like man fuck these white people and you don't even realize that's what you're saying but you're like where the bras at like like remember we what that previous episode they talked about the uh the cotton gin and the uh and the uh uh, uh sugar cane machine ain't no white dude invented that let me tell you how you know a white dude didn't invent that because I got slaves to do the work of this machine. It had to be somebody who was an in, forced in, in, into indentured servitude to invent something to make his job easier. Why would you the, the dustpan, the clothes dryer? White people have no need for that because we cleaning their clothes, we're washing their clothes, we're picking cotton. Why do I need a machine to do it? You're the machine. So. That's the only thing I did like. But man, Samuel Jackson did an awesome job. What my favorite thing, I knew you were really, I knew from the sound of your voice and you saying earlier in the get down how emotional you got. I knew you would truly enjoy these last two episodes because episode five and six showed you the greatness and the power of our people. So when you see a clown like Kanye West in the street, it makes you want to sock him in his face for saying slavery was a choice because it just shows his abject ignorance about our culture to say something like that, say something so despicable that when you got brothers that uh, overtake a ship and because they don't know how to get home, they like, we not going over there because over there is hell and I'd rather die and they all just pretty much walk the plank. Say so I die for I go over there and lose everything. Which is man, our ancestors are powerful. And then they showed the Ashanti. We hear about the Zulus, and people don't realize that military minds in 2020, 20, 2020 on back to, to the to, to the beginning of the 20th century, use Shaka Zulu war techniques to this fucking day. We hear about the Zulus because they can't help but hear about the Zulus. But they don't tell you about the Ashantis and how how the Ashantis took over a village and that village didn't know to speak the uh, Ashantis language. And that village used to be weavers. So they created kente cloth under the osmus of being around the Ashanti tribe. So that's how like when people tell you that lie, and I'm going to say it again, people tell you that lie. That, oh, we sold each other into slavery. No, we didn't. It was a caste system. If D grade take over the H raps, H rap becomes a second class citizen. And H rap maintains his status as H rap B, king of the tribe. And I just got to work for the D grades. Now we go to war again and we take over the Big Illinois. I'm in charge of the Big Illinois. The Big Illinois got to answer to me, but they steal the Big Illinois. If you do any research, you so when and then let's just say some people come along, some Caucasian people come along. They say we need to buy some. We need to get some of y'all people. So we going. Oh, so y'all want to buy the Big Illinois? We thinking we selling the Big Illinois into a second class citizenship, but all in all the while they are gonna be stripped of everything that's them and destroyed. So when people tell that lie, oh man, y'all sold each other. All you have to do is do a little research. Look up if anybody who listening worldwide, if you don't believe what I'm saying, look up King Masa Musa, the richest man in the history of the earth to this very day. 2020, he's still the richest man in the history of the earth. He wrote an edict that says, I own you, not your belongings. Meaning, if D great capture H Rap and H Rap becomes D great slave, H Rap son, H Rap daughter, H Rap. Wife, H. Rap's land is still H. Rap once he dies. 
and I just own H rap. So when people tell you that lie, all you have to do is look up uh when you read stories about the Roman soldiers, they got they got slaves. Those slaves weren't black people, those were other Romans. When you look up people in the, uh, uh 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 Rome, Italy, and, and the British Empire, all these people had slaves that looked just like them. See, we got to get away from this concept of oh, if an African owns another African, they the same. No, because guess what? Just because we look alike don't mean we are alike. It's another. It's oh, it's 53 countries, imaginary countries, because those borders were created by white folks. It's 53 countries on the continent of Africa. Do you know it's over 1,500 different dialects on that continent? So we created 1,500 different dialects. When you look at a person from Sudan and you look at a person from Botswana, they don't say, oh, you're African. I'm an African. We brothers. They go, I'm Sudanese and I'm Botswanian. I am not the same as him. And that's another thing we got to get out of, uh, get, get away from thinking like that because they are not the same. If you're from, if you're from Haiti, you're in this part of the same island. You don't think that you are a Dominican Republic. Sorry. It's the same island, but we're not the same. We don't look at J. Ron. Shout out to J. Ron for being in the chat room. J. Ron and us, we're all from America. We're all from North America. But J. Ron is from Canada. We are from America. We don't say, oh, J. Ron, you, you're an American. No, he's a Canadian. We're different. So we got to get that out the way. But, man, other than that, shout out to Samuel Jackson again, man. Awesome job. And I just like the fact that it showed the power of our people. It showed the warrior. It showed the ingenuity. And it showed truly how great we were. Instead of being suff instead of suffering like some sniveling chunks that they always dress slaves out as. And, and you heard them say one out of every ten boats of our ancestors was turned over and taken over by our folks. Shout out to our folks for saying no, nah, not today, homie. Not today. Yeah, man. Shit. It was, it was, it was good. They had, they had John Lewis. John Lewis had a parent in there before he passed away. They dedicated um, the whole thing to John Lewis. He spoke on some stuff and he encouraged them to keep the movement going. You know, and they talked about little Griffey about his life, about how many times he was arrested and. And the purpose that he was he was doing back in the civil rights movement, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, was, it was one point. It was one point. Um, I forgot the. I should have wrote this down. One of the captains of the ships, they was about to port, but they didn't go all the way to port. And something happened to the ship, and they and he refused to help. Right. Right. And the ship sunk, and they were kept asking, why did he not? Get the help. You know what I mean? Why he didn't ask for help or why didn't he just let this boat just ship? He just think. So they did some research, man. They did some deep research and a whole lot of that stuff, man. Come to find out, back, I don't know, I don't know if it was Britain or whatever. That's what they was printing and they had newspapers and stuff back in the day. Mm -hmm. But the, the story was, I know you I know you I don't know if you remember this part though. They, they got our ancestors from the bottom of the ships, right? Like they, because they had to keep their blood circulating, have them dancing, so they, they wanted them to dance on the deck, right? Right. But one of our queens, she, she, she like, fuck that, I'm not, do I'm not doing that, you know what I mean? So they wanted to, the captain used her as an example, pretty much took all her clothes off and tied her up and just started. And, and, and lifted her up on, 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 on some rope or whatever, or chain or one leg, and just kept and kept dropping her on her head. I was like, "Are you serious?" He just kept dropping her on her head until he killed her, right? Mm -hmm. So that got out. That information got out, and that captain remember that. So he's thinking like, "You know what? This was a time that you know people was like, nah, we not, we, we not." We not accepted this no more. You know what I mean? Right. But they were still, they still were undercover, still was, was still trying to push this shit. They were still pushing this, pushing this agenda. You know what I mean? On their own. So when I learned that he didn't 
didn't want to go. He didn't want to go to the land because he's thinking like, man, they that, they think I'm doing my doing these people like this, man. They gonna they gonna kill me. You know what I mean? Right. So, you know what? I'm not going over there. And unfortunately, that ship had sunk right there, man. Right, right before they parted, it, 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 or what? They could have parted. It. it sucked, man. So that was that was deep, man. How 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 they was how, how we got treated, man. It's just it's just it's just it's crazy how the things that we went through back in those days and how it's relevant to this very day. Exactly. Whole different forms. <laughs> exactly. It, it, and it just shows you, man. I mean, for one, it shows you how it takes a horrific act for people to acknowledge us as human beings. Listen to that, man. You have to do something wild and crazy like drop a motherfucker on their head repeatedly in order to get some goddamn respect. Just to be acknowledged as a human being. Listen to that, bro. In order for me to acknowledge that you are damn human, I am going to have to grab one of your women, drop her on her head repeatedly, and then and only then will somebody in the crowd go, damn, stall her out, man. What the fuck are you doing? And like you said, it's relevant to today. Because that's the George Floyd situation 150 years ago. 100, 200 years ago. That's the George Floyd, George Floyd situation. Right. Because it took yeah. some it took a cop to stand on a man's neck in order for the world to acknowledge oh, we should be doing brothers and sisters like this. All the people in America, they are the black people ain't tripping. So yeah, man, and the warrior spirit when they had the Ashantes doing their war dance, it just again, man. It, the first thing that popped in my mind was I could punch Kanye in his fucking face on sight. <laughs> no, and they talked about how how strong minded these people were, how strong willed these people were, how they t like like in episode six when the when the author. Was talking about how his grandfather put his two kids, his great grandfather, put two of his grandkids in a sack and just carried them to freedom. Yeah, that was. You know what? That was. That was deep. How they traced back a couple of people to their to their folks. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, they just talk about it, but they went to to their kin folks. To have them tell the story. Right. You know what I mean? How uh, they went to that one young lady, she told the story about her, her great 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 grandfather. How uh, he became, uh, oh, uh, his name was, damn, his name was, uh, oh my God, I, I, I looked him up too. Uh, old tight, bro. Old tight, old tight. His name was, uh, oh, Robert Small. Yeah, yeah, Robert Smalls is a dope brother. Robert Smalls is dope as hell. I, I've looked up, looked him up before. Robert Smalls. And how he went back to his, where he was under the direction of the white people at their home, where he, he made enough clout and had enough clout in his game. You know, he went back and brought that brought that land and brought that home. Right. And then I think one of the white folks, the older lady, I don't know who who, who she was. She, she was so delusional and crazy. She came back to the home, and and the compassion that we have. See, that's why we go emotional, compassion, caring people. You know what I mean? What, what some of us thought, you know what I'm saying? He was only took care of for the last few months since she passed away. Right. She was you feel me? she was the woman that owned Robert Smalls. Right. 